All right, good evening and welcome to Master Soccer Online Class. Today, we'll be talking about um, getting uh, the nth root of a complex number. The nth root, nth root, nth root of a complex number. Okay? Now, to get the nth root of a complex number, okay, the first thing we need to do is to change it from, from the Cartesian. To the polar form okay once you can change it from the cartesian to the polar form then do the same thing you did in the other one arrow raised to power n you know that if it is the one that is raised to power n it will be just r raised to power n then in this theta you now multiply by n but since it is one over we have it as what theta plus two pi and uh, two k pi please this formula is very important theta plus two k pi over n you know what your n is n is from here but your k K always starts from, from 0 to n minus 1. So which means if n is 5, K will start, you have 5 terms. So since you have 5 terms, it will start from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. If you count it now, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You have 5 terms. Okay? So that is how it is. So this formula is very important. Please don't forget this formula. 1 over n, or R raised to power 1 over n, bracket, cos theta plus 2K pi over n plus i sine the same thing okay so let us do that if we solve one or two questions you will understand what i am saying okay so the first question we are going to look at is um okay the first question we are going to look at is um that z is equal to Minus one plus root root three i all raised to power one over five. Okay, let us do that. Now the first thing we are going to do is to change it into what uh, into the polar form. Okay, into the polar form. Then let us do that. First of all, I have that minus one plus root three i okay that z is i have this which means that my r is equal to the square root of what minus one all squared plus what root three all squared so what do i have r is equal to square root of four which is equal to two okay so but to get your theta don't forget to draw please so that you don't make mistake don't forget to draw this is negative x negative x is this side then this is positive positive y so is in the second quadrant so any theta i'm getting must fall from 0 to from 90 to 180 so i'll tell them that what my tan uh my tan sorry my theta is equal to what uh tan inverse uh tan inverse of um tan inverse of a uh, root 3 over minus 1 okay which is equal to what uh tan inverse of a uh, minus root 3 which is what minus tan inverse of root 3 okay which is equal to what minus 60 degrees but minus 60 degrees is not in second quadrant so what do i say i'll say 180 minus this so my theta normally will not be what 180 minus 60 which is what 120 degrees so let me change it in terms of pi because of that formula okay Sometimes they give you in terms of numbers, sometimes they'll give you in terms of pi. But in this one, I want to solve in terms of pi. So I'll say what? 120 pi over 180. I hope you know. Pi is 180, they can cancel out. So 0 cancels 0. Uh, 2 here, 6. 2 here, 9. 3 here, 2. Uh, 3 here, 3. So I'm having what? Uh, 2. 2 pi over what? 2 pi over 3. Okay. So what do we have? So which means that this thing is something I say, uh, don't forget that Z is equal to R bracket cos theta plus I sine theta. I hope you know, don't forget, please. This is a, R is what? 2. 2 bracket cos 120 plus I sine 120. Okay. So uh, permit me to clean here. So this is the polar form. So I want to say uh, 
z raised to power 1 over 5 is equal to what? 2 bracket cos 120, okay? Plus i sine 120. Then everybody raised to power 1 over 5, okay? So, you will now write out your formula. Your formula say that what? That z is equal to what? R raised to power 1 over n in bracket of cos cos what? Uh, cos theta plus what? 2k pi all over what? n. Don't forget, please. Plus what? I sine uh, the same theta plus 2k pi all over what? n. Okay? You close. So don't forget now, since my n is 5, my k will be what? 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay? So you will now start the first one, z1. That is when, when k is equal to 0. You will be getting all of them. When k is equal to 0, okay, let me call this w. w is equal to z raised power d. So let me say w1, w1. Okay, w is equal to z raised power d. So the first one, w1, should be what? Uh, w1 is um, okay. So w1 is equal to. Please, I'm I, I'm working here. After working here, I will not come and put it inside this bracket. So I'm going to have what? W1 is cos bracket theta is what? 120 plus 2, 0, 2 bracket 0, k is 0 here, times 180, which is pi, over what? n is what? 5, okay? That is plus i sine, you do the same thing again. Theta is what? 120 plus 2 bracket 0, times another 180, all over what? 5. That is the first one. So the second one, W2, is equal to what? Cos, you do the same thing again. 120 plus 2 bracket, K is now 1, times 180, all over 5. Okay? Plus, I sign, you do the same thing again. 120 plus 2 bracket, 1, 180, all over what? 5. That is 2. Okay? We are going to have five terms. Five terms. So the, the, the third one, W3, is when n is now 2. So you are going to have what? You are going to have. Um, so you are going to have cos. Cos bracket 120, which is your pi, plus 2 bracket 2, okay? Times 180, all over what? 5, okay? I get in that uh -huh. plus I sign you do the same thing again 120 plus 2 bracket 2 180 all over 5 okay uh -huh. so let's go the next one W4 W4 is what cause you go again 120 plus 2 bracket 3 180 all over what 5 plus I sign 120 plus 2 bracket 3, 180, all over what? 5, you close. The last but not the least, number 5. Number 5, W5. W5 is now equal to what? Cos 120 plus 2 bracket 4, 180, all over 5, okay? Plus I sign. 120 plus 2 bracket 4, 180 all over 5. Okay? So you need to start getting the answer of all these things. So let's start getting the answer. You can do it. Just first of all, say. So for this one, you first of all say 0 times everything is 0. That's 0 plus 120 before you divide by 5. So which means 120 divided by 5, which is 24, okay? So the first one gave us 
is going to give us cos cos 24 plus i sine 24. That is for the first one. Okay. The second one, okay, is going to give us um is going to give us okay. So you say two times one times one eight, so which is three sixty plus one twenty. Then you now divide by five. I'm having ninety six. So I have here cos ninety six plus i sine the same ninety six. Okay, you now do the same thing for this one. So two times two times one eighty before you now plus one twenty. So four times one eighty. Okay, plus 120. Then you now divide by 5. So I'm having 168. So I'm having cos 168 plus I sine 168. Okay, so the last but not okay, second to the last, you say um, 6, 2 times 3, 6 times 180. So 6 times 180, then plus, plus 120. Okay, then divided by 5. I'm having 240. So for this one, it's going to be cos 240 plus I sine 240. Okay? So the last one, you do the same thing for the last one, which is what? 2 times 4, which is 8. 8 times 180, then plus 120. Okay? Plus 120, then you now divide by 5. So you have 3, 3, 3, 12. So I'm having cos 312 plus I sine 312. So you are going to bring out all these things you have now. So you will see my final answer is going to be, I don't know, the board is small, okay? My final answer is going to be, um, so which one was I solving? So my final answer is going to be two raised to power, uh, two raised to power. My final answer is going to be z raised to power one over five is equal to what? Two raised to power n. Okay, two raised to power one over five, w one, comma, two raised to power one over five, w two, comma, two raised to power one over five, w three, comma, two raised to power one over five. W4. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4. Then, 2 raised to power 1 over 5, W5. So, these are my final answer. And that is that. So, okay, so you see, it's not a difficult something. If you know the formula, you are good to go. You are good to go. Okay, so uh, assignment, do this for me. Do um, 4 plus 4i, all raised to the power 1 over 4. Okay? So try this one and send the answer on the comment section. God bless you for watching. Please subscribe.